So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up a crush bus or a parallel processing for the drums. So I have it here called Crush. There's nothing on it right now. What I'm going to do is send all three drum tracks to it into the aux called Crush, which bears its name very well. I'm going to set those tracks so you can see them like this. So what I do usually is I select those three tracks and I go to Edit, Automation, Copy to Sand, and this is Sand E. So what did that do? That copied my balance between the three instruments to the aux, neatly, without having to do it by hand. Rock and roll. And then I'm going to make those three tracks pre. So now I can have one mix for the dry sound and one mix for the crutch sound up here. And they're different because these auxes are pre-fader. And then I'm going to put a compressor on there, and I'm going to crush the hell out of those drum tracks. And because these are in pre, I'm able to listen to just the crush bus. Oh yeah. Open this, close the release to make it pump, be wholly uncivilized. So, we're giving the drums a facelift, fair enough. We're not going to use this as is, as you've seen in the parallel processing video. We're going to use it to enhance what's already there. So I'm going to high pass the bottom, surprise. And then there's that little ring here. A bit lower, yeah. Yeah, that's better. And now what I'm going to do is turn the other drums back on and then tuck this under. Interesting. I think it probably will work even better if I make it less stereo and more in your face mono in the middle like this. With bass. You notice I'm clipping on the crush bus. That's because I'm getting out of here way too loud. So I'm going to take it down on the output of the compressor so it's no longer clipping after that. And then bring the output out. That sounds great. Now, with the vocals, just to see how it feels, and maybe a tiny bit of reverb.